Okay, to finish up the assignment for Monday, there's one more thing to learn. It's question number four. Now I've taken number four, okay, and double I, and I've put it here on the board. So I'm going to do this one for you guys. You can just copy down and recopy it on your assignment or whatever you want to do. Okay, and then I'll let you do the I part portion of four on your own for the assignment. Okay, so for this one, it asks you to write out all the factors. Well, this is easy enough because you're actually given the graph and you can see where the roots are. Okay? One of the roots is at 4. So I know I have a y equals x plus 4. I have another root at 1. So I know that's an x minus 1. And notice here that the graph just touches at 1. Okay? If it just touches, that means I have a squared root here, or a squared factor. Okay? So there's squared. Now there's one other thing to notice here. Okay? This is not your normal cubic. The normal cubic goes up on the right and down on the left. So it's an inverse so it's a negative in front. Now, on your question, it says make sure to be careful of the y-intercept. The reason is, okay, if I sub in 0 for x here and figured out what my y-intercept was, I would get positive 4 onto negative 1 squared, which would give me 4. Right? And this negative would make it negative 4. But that's not the y-intercept I have. I have negative 2. So we have to figure out, okay, there's some constant here on the end that gives us our true y-intercept, okay? So the first step here is determine the value of the constant. To do that, okay, I say I know my equation has to equal negative 2 when x is 0. Okay, x is 0 here, my y has to be negative 2 when x is 0. Okay, so my y is going to be negative 2, okay, and then I put in 0 for my x's. So here's 0 plus 4, and then 0 minus 1 squared plus that constant. Okay. Now all we have to do is solve for the constant. So I have negative 2 equals negative 4 onto negative 1 squared plus that constant. I get negative 2 is equal to negative 4 and a negative 1 squared. Okay, this becomes 1. 1 times 4 is 4 and that makes it negative 4 plus my constant, then solving for the constant, plus 4 on either side, I get 2 is equal to C. Okay. Okay, so then I can say, therefore, my true equation here is Y equals negative X plus 4 onto x minus 1 squared, and the c is a 2, so I put that on the end. Now the only thing left to do is just to expand and simplify. That means basically just to multiply it all out. Okay, So I get y equals negative I keep this x plus 4, and then using FOIL, okay, expand x minus 1 squared. If you're good in your head doing these things, then just do it in your head. If not, write it on the side of the piece of paper, expand it, and then put it back in. I can do this one in my head. I know it's going to be an x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, and then I tack again my plus 2 on the end. The next part, 
little harder, probably can't do it in your head, I can't do it in my head. I'm going to multiply this by this. Okay? So I get y equals the negative. Okay? In brackets here, x times x gives me x cubed. x times a negative 2x squared gives me negative 2x squared. Sorry, that was x times negative 2x gives me negative 2x squared. x times 1 gives me just x. Then I take the 4 and multiply it through. 4 times x squared gives me 4x squared. 4 times negative 2x gives me negative 8x. 4 times 1 gives me 4. And then I have the 2 that was on the end. So then y equals my negative add all the like terms. There's only one x cubed. I have a negative 2x squared and a positive 4x squared here and here. So that gives me a total of plus 2x squared. And then I look at my x's. I have an x here and a minus 8x here. So that gives me minus 7x. Finally, the two numbers on the end, a 4 and a 2, so that gives me plus 6. And I'll accept that as a final answer. If you wanted to, okay, you could also just take this negative and multiply it through by every term, and you just end up with negative x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 6. And I'll take either one. Okay, so that is the final answer. 4i. To do question 4i, it's the same exact procedure. Take your graph, write it with your factors here, okay, with the constant on the end that you have to solve for. Okay. Get the constant by saying my y has to be whatever my y-intercept is. When I have a y-intercept, that means my x is 0. Again, solve for the constant. So with all of this, you should be able to finish the assignment. You don't have to do number seven. Okay? So don't do number seven for homework. The rest of it is due. Okay? And we'll work on it on Monday to finish it up. And that should be good.